Princess Willy Bigart Written by Leia E. Basquinas Once upon a time, in a far away island of Mindanao, there lived a little girl named Sari. She is the only daughter of Sultan Sa'am and Queen Aliyah. Sari is a princess who loves to sing, dance, and draw. She is well loved by everyone because she has a generous and kind heart and loves to help all people in their kingdom. One sunny morning, on her way to school, Sari happened to see an old woman who is walking alone. The old woman is so frail that she could hardly walk. She wore a shabby dress. Hunger and thirst are seen on her face. Sari stopped for a moment and asked, Good morning! Why are you walking alone in this road? This is the only shortcut way to my old house. That's why I am trying to walk the best as I could, said the old woman. I think you are thirsty and hungry, said Sari who is worried about the old woman. Sari gave her water to drink and food to eat. Thank you, my princess. You are so kind and generous to a poor and old woman like me, said the old woman with tears flowing down her cheeks. Here, take my shawl. I know it's quite hot, but you can use this shawl at night to keep you warm, said Sari. The old woman thanked her. Sari arrived late at the school because of what happened earlier, but she never got angry with the old woman. As the classes ended, her teacher asked Sari what went wrong. Without hesitation, she told the story to her teacher. The teacher understood what happened and warned Sari not to be late anymore. Years passed and Princess Sari was now in grade 4. One late afternoon, as she goes home from school, Sari and her maid named Nana encountered some bandits. They were going to kidnap Princess Sari and let King Sa'am and Queen Aliyah pay for ransom in return for their daughter's freedom. Sari and Nana were so frightened that they can't even run. They just cried for help but no one can hear them. Help! Help! Please, great God, help Princess Sari! cried Nana as the bandits tied the hands of the princess. Help me, please! Help me! Help! shouted Sari as loud as she could, but no one could hear her. As the bandits took Sari away from Nana, someone as fast as the lightning flew in front of the princess. She wore a blue shawl. She had a blue magic wand on her hand. She looked like a warrior fairy. Her eyes were full of fire, but her face was beautiful as an angel. And she had powers. Magic. Stay away from the princess, she ordered. No one will hurt the princess. Now, go away. Go home or else I will turn you into frogs. She even added. But one of the bandits tried to hit Princess Sari with his sharp bolo. Before the bolo could even hit the princess, the man behind turned into... I told you to leave the princess alone, she said, turning all the bandits into frog. The fairy untied Sari's hand while Nana approached them thanking the fairy for rescuing them. Thank you for helping me. I owe my life to you. How could I, I ever repay you? said Sari with tears on her eyes. You don't have to repay me, my princess. Remember this shawl which you gave to me when you were just little? I always use this to remember you, said the fairy. Sari was delighted to hear the fairy story. So it's you? asked Sari. Yes, I am an old woman. You gave me something to drink and eat. 
and you gave me this shawl, remember? Said the fairy. I have heard lots of stories about you. That's why I try to turn myself into an old woman. And there goes the story. People were all right. You have a good heart, the fairy added. From that day onwards, I made a promise to myself. I'll always stay by your side. You can never see me because I have powers and magic, but you can always feel my presence, my princess. The fairy added. Princess Sari hugged the fairy as gratitude. Nana also thanked the fairy. It was dark when they got home. King Sa'am and Queen Aliyah were worried that they hugged and kissed the princess. Sari told their parents what happened to them, and a story passed on to generations. The End Credits to the following persons.